Now, de facto relationships have become quite common, but it's only now that couples are seen as being married in the eyes of the law if there's a split. New property and asset rules um, apply to same-sex couples as well, and possibly even people involved in affairs. Lawyer Fiona Reid is here to explain the family law changes. Good morning, Chief. Good morning. Now, I thought de facto's after 12 months um, had the same status as married couples anyhow. No, first it's, it's actually two years two that years. is right. the time period, but um, the Family Law Act deals with um, the division of property uh, following the breakdown of a marriage differently to the way de facto breakdown was dealt with under state legislation. So the amendments essentially bring de facto couples or separating de facto couples under the umbrella of the Family Law Act. So after two years? That's right. Okay. So the, the significance of that is that the court, both courts have always done an analysis of the property that's available to be distributed. Now de facto couple, couples will have access to superannuation which can be split between the parties. The courts have also done um, a worked out a percentage-based entitlement based on financial and non-financial and homemaker contributions to the property. Um, but where things will differ significantly now is that under the Family Law Act, the court makes an adjustment for future needs so that if someone has the ongoing care of a child or if there's a disparity in income or earning capacity or there are health issues which need to be taken into account, the court will make an adjustment for those future needs. One of the things in this has been dubbed the mistress laws because um, it could leave cheating husbands or wives open to divorce style litigation. Is that really the case? Look, I think e each case will turn on, on the different facts of that particular case. Um, and anyone who applies to the family court under the, under the new amendments will need to first satisfy that a, de that a de facto relationship existed and then they'll have to meet a number of gateway requirements. But if a cheating spouse has been in a long-term relationship and there's been a level of financial interdependence or there's a child of that relationship, then certainly, yes, they could be open to that type of litigation. So. Just clear up for me, are, are all couples now on the same footing, sort of no band at the status? Well, again, you would need to satisfy these particular criteria. So the relationship would have, depending on the duration of the relationship, the sharing of finances, financial support and financial interdependence, children of the relationship. Yep. And, we're, and we've got, got the summary there. That's right. Yep. Um, the, both courts have also... also and that also fairness, I think that, that's a really good good thing to put in there. Absolutely. Look, both courts have always had an obligation to ensure that any orders are, are fair in the circumstances, but taking into account these, fu these future needs will ensure that the outcomes are more just, I think, mm. moving mm. forward. Do you think people now need to consider things like a prenup a little bit more? Um, I think it needs to be kept in, in perspective, but oh. certainly if you've been in a long-term relationship or there's a child of that relationship or there's some sharing of finances or you own property together or, or, or solely, then you might want to consider entering, in, entering into a binding financial agreement, which will determine how your assets are divided if your relationship breaks down in the future. Okay. So if you're going a year and 11 months living with somebody, do you now say, oh, OK, let, let's whip up a prenup or...? You might do that, depending on the circumstances, yeah. Right. Uh, you know, it's a good way of ensuring that if your relationship does break down, there is something in place about how the division of your assets will be dealt with, so that you're not faced with litigation at what will already be a very difficult time. Not the most romantic thing in no. the world, is it? But I suppose <laughs> it's one of the things you've got to consider. Thank That's you right. for that. My pleasure. Thanks, Fiona, for coming in.